Were you there from the beginning to behold the revolution unforeseen, to bear witness to a monumental year in the history of the world like that of the year 2014? Did you dance? Did you see the love? Did you cry? Did you watch democracy contradict itself again and again and again live right before our very eyes? And yet we danced on the front line with our fiancés, partied with our familias to Beyonce and Mr. West. And yet we were still there after the party was over on both sides of the Mexican border for the undocumented in protest. The early year brought Oscars. And with the Pharrell brought happy songs and a pin with the black rose on behalf of brothers keepers, sons and brothers of the concrete jungle where the black rose grows. And while our favorite Uncle Phil was walking up his stairway to heaven below, Jay-Z brought truth by shouting out a number, proposition number 47. Because more schools means way less prisons, more education, better odds, healthy communities to live in, more love, more justice, and justice shouldn't discriminate. This year, it became more legal to love whoever you want to love in so many more states. For holy is the matrimony, devotion shouldn't be defined. For truth to go pop, to march for a last breath became the new state of mind. Rock and power letter label tease, bringing more awareness to the world. Less tagging ratchetness, more tagging Black Lives Matter. Let's bring back our girls. Artists plugging into their power, bringing more truth to their rhyme. We are here for Alicia Keys singing more peace for Gaza Strip, Israel, Palestine. Ebola brought fear and warning. People meme jokes for days. But no one laughed. Last joke we had about an illness led to an epidemic called AIDS. Still, there was beauty. Watching more gender equality unfold. A sisterhood rising, Laverne Cox walking the red carpet, making all of them heads roll. Seen a student carry her mattress on her back around school to shut down the uglies of a campus life forever hidden in disguise. Watch Malala with the education in one hand, a bullet in her head, and in the other hand, a Nobel Peace Prize. We had real tribes standing against redskins to change their image and give back their name. It was a year filled with everyday courage and resilience, sport, art, mastery, and play, technicolor glory in the stories of Cesar Chavez, Yori Kochiyama, Gina Rodriguez, Monet Davis, and Selma by Ava DuVernay. But the bloodshed spilled. Out loud, police began to kill black men, some of them mistaken for being black men around town. One boy guilty of poverty, his hands raised, don't shoot, and Ferguson burned down. Now we know the name Mike Brown. Left there with three square holes in the gutter, a mother's son beatless. Our stomachs left sick. Then came the Lucy man, Eric Garner, from the Wu-Tang district, choked by an officer, killed, wearing his six children on his sleeve. And now we, the millions, are yelling his last words, I can't breathe. And now we can't breathe till we move forward behind the democracy we preach. Can't breathe till we stop putting guns in the hands of the children we teach. We cannot breathe till we become a nation proud of its immigration, restoring love back into our homes instead of fear of our mothers not being from here. We will not breathe, determined to succeed till we get freedom, health, and justice for the young people living in between the lines. For they are children, the future, and they will lead us to the promised land and the fire next time.